Hey everyone, so here we finally have it. We have a free to play disarm tune out of Earl Sutton, the tune that we also hate the most whenever he messes up in our armory, which is often. So in this video, you're going to see me claim my Earl as well as talk about what I like and don't like about him. I will also give you an example of one of the teams that I plan on using him in, or at least something similar to what I plan on using him in. I've only just seen his stats and what he can do, so there's still some things that I would like to work out. So firstly, when we take a look at Earl as a 5 star, we notice that his rush is very fast and deals 3 attacks at 125% damage for a total of 375% damage. He's also a disarming tune, which is the best thing about him, in my opinion. His attack and defense are well balanced here, but he has a bit higher HP. As a 6 star, Earl has a high amount of HP, a decent amount of attack, and a fair bit of defense. He retains his disarming ability, and his rush stays pretty consistent with his 5 star rush, of being 3 attacks, but of 150% damage, or 450% damage total, to one enemy. This rush is actually very good for him, especially when dealing with Negan teams. What I don't like about his rush, though, is that he only does three attacks. And I say only because when we take a look at other tunes, like Harper, who also is a disarming tune with a triple attack, she does defense down to the entire team as well. And attack down, if I'm not mistaken. A rush of 66 AP, if you put a huge bonus to AP when attacking on his weapon, have a huge AP lead that will give him 10 AP whenever he attacks, a 20% AP weapon to self, which will give him 14 AP, and have two yellow tunes that both have 8% AP weapons, you will be able to rush Earl on turn 1 with a command tune. Earl also has a decent active skill, which enables him to stun one enemy for two turns on turn 2, which makes him an excellent control tune, and he gains plus 35% AP, which is equal to 24 AP if his rush is maxed out at 66 AP. Earl does not have a bound weapon, meaning you can replace this weapon with whatever you choose. And here I claim my Earl. I think I will try to level him up and ascend him tomorrow. Here is an example of a team that I would like to try Earl in. By using him as a disarm tune, I can get away from using Louie, who doesn't really have a useful active skill. I think this team has potential against those double Negan teams because Earl's rush is unlikely to trigger payback. I will probably not mod him with crit set damage mods because if he ends up rushing and applies too much damage to Negan, he can trigger payback and would likely trigger it three times. An alternative free-to-play option would be using Andrea Lead, Douglas, Tara from the Season Store, Regina also from the Season Store, and Earl. This team would have a plus 40 attack and a huge bonus to AP when attacking to all the tunes on this team. Without a human shield, this team will actually hold up fairly well because Douglas gives a fair amount of control by being a taunting tune, a guardian tune, and a healing tune. Tara also has an active skill that gives her plus 120% defense on the first turn, which decreases by a certain amount every turn after that, making her very tanky at the start of the match. Regina is your decapitation tune, and with her rush, she can kill any tune that has 1600 HP or less because of the maim damage, unless they have a maim resist mod. This type of team can rely upon basic attacks to kill some of the red heavy teams, in my opinion. And now a couple of examples of weapons that you can give Earl. So this isn't exactly what I want, but the idea is there. A huge bonus to AP when attacking is necessary. Having crit instead of attack will also help him when disarming. Ideally, a double attack weapon here will work really well. Because he rushes three times, he has the potential to have three hits, four hits, five hits, or six attacks on his rush. So again, just focusing on the special here, having a weapon that does plus 35% bonus attack 
when attacking an enemy with more than 60% HP can also be utilized by a toon like Earl. Another weapon type that people might not pay much attention to is a defense down when attacking weapon. This weapon could be very effective in Earl's hands when he has three times the chance of applying this defense down bonus to the opponent, especially if it's a toon like Negan. This type of weapon can be very valuable if you don't have a way of dropping the defense of the opponent's tunes. And finally, using a weapon with plus 35% crit when attacking enemies with more than 60% of their HP can also be very valuable because Earl is a disarming toon, and if his main purpose is to disarm on your team, then I could also recommend this weapon if you don't have a double attack weapon crafted. All in all, I'm ecstatic that the free-to-play player base now has a disarm tune that is easily accessible. Thank you again for watching and listening to my video. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.